हे गाइज वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अनादर प्रॉब्लम इन फिक्स लाइटिंग विंडो प्ले लिस्ट एंड आई होप यू गाइज आर फॉलोइंग प्ले लिस्ट अलॉन्ग एंड इफ़ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल और आर नॉट फॉलोइंग दिस प्ले लिस्ट आई वुड हाईली रिकमेंड जस्ट वॉच प्रीवियस एनी वन ऑफ दीज वीडियोज सो दैट यू गेट बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग बिकॉज इट्स इट्स प्रिटी मच सिमिलर प्रॉब्लम नाउ विच वी आर सॉल्विंग so uh, problem li- uh, problem statement link will be in the description let's mm, let's start the uh, problem so guys problem name is maximum mex from all sub areas of length k so uh, when you 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 are first reading this problem you may be thinking that what is this mex i have not heard of it any time so when i first read this problem i also was not aware of what mex but like they have given here so what the problem is that you are given an array consisting of n distinct integers okay very important guys n distinct integers and an integer k task is to find the maximum mex of all sub arrays of length k the mex is the smallest positive integer that is not present in the array okay so for first of all you have to find every sub array of length k so when you see this kind of stuff right like you can easily guess that this is a sliding window and since the length is fixed so it's fixed sliding window okay um now you have to find mex of all these sub arrays so mex is what smallest positive number integer that is not present so th- that is the mex so you have to find mex of all the sub arrays and then from all those mex right you have to find the maximum one let's understand this with a test case so let me i am picking this first test case and let's see. okay so see guys this is a array which is given to us let me do indexing so in case 2 right so we have to find all the sub arrays of this length so let's start first sub array is this one so here if you see 3 2 Uh, what will be the mex of this what will be the mex mex is the smallest positive integer positive integer which is missing which is missing so here which is the smallest positive integer which is missing right it is 1 so uh, mex of this array is what 1 so we got our first mex i am just writing all the mex over here okay mex now let's move to the uh, next window so next sub array of this length will be this so here uh, what is the mex it is 3 right let's move to the next sub array so next sub array is what okay next sub array is this right so what will be the mex here it will be uh 14 is the array right so what is the mex here mex is what 2 now we have we have uh, traversed all this array and we have got all the sub arrays of length 2 so uh, and the uh, mex is are these you have to find the maximum among them and that is your output so maximum is 3 so 3 is your output okay so i hope you understood this problem guys now let's uh, move to the approach okay now guys see this this is the last uh, video in the fixed sliding window so i am hoping till now that you are aware of uh, how to create a window okay how to uh, move the window and how to how to fix the window and how to slide the window okay so i will not spend much time on that hoping that you know that all right <clears throat> so uh, k is what 2 so guys see uh you are given n integers right n distinct integers very important that means that if the n is here n is what n is 4 right that means that your this array will have integers ranging from 1 to 4 both 1 to 4 both inclusive 
so here you see one two three four right so when you uh, are in this let's say you are in this window so you need to find that okay which is the smallest uh, you, you need to find the mex right and mex what smallest integer which is missing you can just uh, simply check here like i trade from 1 to n right i trade from 1 to n and just simply check uh, which smallest integer is missing here in this window right so you traverse from 1 to n and you see that okay um a uh, one is it one is one present no it's not present so obviously one is the smallest integer which is missing so one is the mex right this can be done this is like the basic approach which anyone can think of that okay i'll uh, move my window one by one and i will just simply run a loop run a loop from one to n to check which is the smallest uh, <coughs> element missing in my current window but this is obviously not optimized right because for every window you will be moving from one to n right that is not the right approach how you can solve this how you can solve this is what you can do is first of all let's we we know that the numbers are from 1 to n right both inclusive so let's create a list or set or whatever you want to call it okay from uh, integers ranging from 1 to n plus 1 okay <clears throat> 1 to n plus 1 you will understand why so uh, i am storing i am creating a set or a list uh, preferably a set right because set will arrange the elements and all that so um, you will create a set and store 1 to n plus 1 elements in that simple okay now what we will do now we will be traversing uh, in our array so when you have to uh, keep a window right we will be uh, keeping a window of size k you take what you take a low initialize to zero you take high initialize to zero these will be keeping your window maintaining your window right and also take a mex variable which will give you the final answer like it will store the maximum mex possible initialize it to minus infinity because we have to find the maximum right so initialize it with the minimum value now let's let's start so initially our low is here and our high is also here and uh, until unless you reach your current window size right your desired window size so basically what is our uh, format how we write format uh, what how we write code in fixed lighting window what's our format so if you have watched the previous videos you might be aware uh, now that uh, first of all we keep a condition that until unless we reach our desired window size right until unless we reach our desired window size so this is gives you the window size and if this window size is less than k it means that we have not reached our window yet so do something else once we reach our window we will do something else so this is what our format is okay i am i am erasing this so you can just note it down so uh, currently our high is at 0 low is at 0 plus 1 that is the window size is 1 uh, so this is your window right and which is less than uh, the desired size which is 2 so you will uh, you did not got you have not gotten uh, till yet the desired window size right so what you will do i know that uh, this is my window right and this 3 cannot be the mex obviously because 3 is present right mex is what mex is integer that is not present so if i am at currently at 3 in my window i am at 3 so i know that obviously this 3 will never be the mex for this window right that is 
very much clear right because mex is what mex is the smallest number not present now since your current pointer is at 3 it means it's included in the window and if it is included it means that it cannot be mex because it's or it's present right so since 3 is already present you will remove this 3 from the set so basically this set is storing what this set is storing possible candidates for the window possible co co candidates as mex for the window for the current window for the current window so current window is this thing and all these are possible mex right possible candidates for mex not mex these are not mex but like these are possible candidates right okay now you move further now because since you have not gotten your uh, desired window size right so you will just simply move your high forward you are expanding now see now you got your desired window size which is 2 that is your high is 1 minus your uh, low, uh, low is 0 plus 1 that is 2 so 2 is greater than 2 no so it means that you have gotten your desired window size so now what steps will you do i am writing steps here first of all you will see whether this 2 is in the set or not because if this this is your current window right and this you are currently at 2 so it means that 2 cannot be possible mex it's it's present so you will remove it from the set so remove first step is remove the current remove the arr of high whichever is your current element from set if it is present obviously okay what is the second step what will be the second step think about it now what 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 do you want to do you want to find the mex right so what will be the mex mex will be the minimum of elements in the set so for this current window <coughs> what will be my mex 1 because that is the minimum element in the set right so 1 will be one of the possible mex so i will just update this variable with one because it can be a possible mex third step will be what to now shift the window so when we have to shift the window what we do we usually do low plus plus and high plus plus but before doing this when your uh, low will go forward right because you are shifting that means that this 3 now is not in the window right because now your window will be what if you shift it your window will be this right you both you uh, moved both low and high by one step now your window is something this one but now 3 is not in your window that means it can be a potential candidate of uh as i mean x right because these two elements are the, in the window so these cannot be the potential candidates but 3 is not in the window now right so 3 can be a potential candidates to store that in the set so uh in the set right add arr of low whatever was uh, low was earlier here right so before shifting before incrementing low add the element of low in the set again because it's now a possible candidate for mex okay so these are the three steps which you have to do now again uh what you do you will what we will do you will you have a new window now again so you will repeat these three steps again so first step is remove the arri from the set so your arr of i is 1 remove it from the set removed now second step is to calculate the minimum uh, that is the mex so mex is the minimum is what 3 so 3 is your mex of this window and see if it is greater than the current mex yes so update that because we have to find the maximum mex and then uh, you have to uh, move your window right so before moving before sliding your window 
this ARR of low which is 2 right can be a potential candidate so add it in the uh, set and move your window so your window will go to now this low will be here I will be here okay now this is your window 1 and 4 so uh, add uh, steps again add this uh, so 4 cannot be the MEX now so remove it from the set okay then find out the maximum here uh, minimum here which is 2 that is the MEX is it greater than the current MEX no so you will not update this okay and add the low because now you will shift the window right so add the low in the uh, set so one is the low add it and move the point so now your height comes out of the bound so your loop is finished and finally you got your answer which is three okay so guys i hope you understood uh, the dry run and the approach it's very interesting question let's quickly see the code so code will be pretty simple if you understood the approach so we have taken a set right and uh, initially we created this uh, set with elements from 1 to n plus 1 right so we have created we this loop will add the elements in the set after that taken mex low and high as we discussed initially right these three variables then uh, same fixed lighting window format i hope i hope and very much hope that you now guys are aware of that until unless you reach your desired window size check if the array arr5 is in set if it is remove it because it's not a potential uh, why we are removing it because it's a not a potential candidate to be mex okay now increment high now if once you got your desired window size right then again check if the high is same thing which you have done here you can com like make a common code or something like that you can optimize this code and then first step was this one right if you remember first remove arr high then find out the mex so uh, then we are finding this mex okay minimum from the set and check if it is uh, can be the maximum mex and lastly slide the window so these three steps are to slide the window and at last you can print your mx um, so i hope you guys understood this problem uh, right uh, since we are using a set and adding and uh, deleting and all that so n log n is the time complexity and space is o of n because we are storing these uh, we are using a set right and uh, we are removing adding stuff in set so because of that log n so I hope you understood this problem uh, guys if you found this video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel share with your friends let me know in the comments if you have any doubt see you in the next video bye